Hi and welcome to Score Game. The new Gauntlet mod is going to be released in under 10 minutes. I'm really hyped for this one. Ok guys, 10 more seconds and the Gauntlet opens for the first time. Let's go. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's go! Ok, uh, I really don't know what to expect. Your run ends when you score 7 wins and or suffer 2 consecutive losses. So it's the same thing as Expeditions. Ok, let's go. Ok, so apparently we're playing with the decks we already have. Ok, I'm gonna go with my SC Joanny deck. Ok, an error. Ok, so apparently this time it worked. But the first time I tried it, it didn't work. Okay, so we're playing with standard rules. That's not what I expected. But sure. Let's go. So this is like an expedition with a rank deck. Okay, I'm gonna keep a Omen Hawk here and the Sentry. Okay, we're playing versus a Gangplank Trash. Should be a pretty easy game. They're out there. I'll spot them. Okay, pretty nice start so far. Uh, I think I'm gonna take here before I play the Trapper. Oh my god, I didn't expect to make it rain. Okay, but it's fine, I guess. Okay, he's gonna summon two monkeys. Nothing I can do. Uh, so this turn... I think I'm gonna play the sentry first to trade it with the monkey. Then I'm gonna play the Yeti. Or maybe not. Apparently he's gonna attack. Right off the bat. So I'm gonna play the Yeti for sure. And I think I'm gonna play the Glory Seeker as well. The buffed one. Or maybe I shouldn't play the Glory Seeker, the buffed one. Next turn he has 5 mana, so he may play Trash. But if he's gonna see a 6 to Glory Seeker, he may not play Trash. I'm gonna play it anyway. Victory requires a sharp blade. I have to attack uh, before he's gonna play anything anyway. Or maybe I don't. He may be playing this uh, Glory Seeker was a mistake. I should have played the other one. Yeah, it was a mistake after all. I should have played the other one first. Bait him to play Trash and then play this one. Okay, I don't like that. I'm gonna play the Sentry. He probably has another make it rain. Okay, so let's see. Grab the monkey. Yeah, 
Yeah, he most likely will uh, just make it rain. There, there's, it's pointless to attack with the others because he's just gonna block one with the monkey. Not really worth it. Yeah, make it rain, there we go. Okay, I think I got lucky, right? Yeah. Bl both glory seekers survived. Okay, so that means he only has one make it rain left in the deck. That's pretty nice. I have board control. I can draw two extra uh, extra cards with uh, the bubbling gels. It's fine. If he plays Trish, I call him. Uh, I guess we have to play a jerk. I'm not gonna waste the uh, Sejuani freeze on this turn, so I had to play a jerk. Or should I play Ash? Is he gonna play Trash? If I play Ash and then he plays Trash and I call Trash, that's actually better than playing Sejuani. I mean, I can still call Trish, even if I play Sejuani. Yeah, this is better, okay. And I still have a uh, mana, uh, even if I call for the Elixir of Iron. Yep, he's playing Trish. By Trish. Yeah, I think I just won. My board is just huge. Uh Okay, sure. Actually, I'm just gonna do 2 damage. I think he's gonna use a spell anyway with a barrel. So if I do this, I just waste 2 damage I can do to his face. Yep. You know it. As I said, I have mana for the elixir of iron as well. Good thing though, I didn't attack the Brawl. He, he only has uh, 3 HP left. He's pretty doomed. I have a insane board. He might actually just surrender here. Come on dude. Get out of the gauntlet. We got another call. If he plays another Thresh and he will call him, I think he just surrenders. Thresh, Thresh! No, not Gangplank, come on. Come on, game, why? Okay, I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play Ash. Maybe I'm gonna need the mana for calling strike. And I want to play Ash for sure. Well, he only has two mana if he attacks. 
not really good for him. Does he have the third make it rain? Too bad I got unlucky and uh, he got Gangplank from the Rekindler uh, Re instead of Trash. Take with C Johnny first. I mean th this attack just wins us the game if he can counter it. Join the conflagration. We kind of win the game even if he does something here. Yeah, pretty low chance. And by pretty low chance I mean a zero. Bye bye. Okay, let's go. First gauntlet to win. But the gauntlet is totally not what I expected. Like standard rules. Are you kidding me? That's so boring. At least we get to play our Ash Sejuani deck and get 7 wins. Uh, okay, Jinx, Z, Karma. Jinx, Z, Karma. What the hell is that deck? Okay, people are playing, playing really, really weird decks. Uh, I really don't know what to keep here. I guess I'm gonna keep Call to deal with Zed. I shouldn't keep the Heart Guard here. I think it's a mistake, but I really like this card. I like it a lot. I'm gonna keep it. Let's go, bird. I'm gonna attack with the bird, nothing else I can do. If he plays Z this turn, I guess we're gonna call him. Pledge yourself to the shadows. But he has 3 mana left. If he buffs Z in any way, and he denies the call, that's really bad, but I still have to go for the call. Oh, okay, that's okay. That's okay. That's fine. That's actually stupid of him. To use another Z to save this Z, I mean, what's the point of that? You still get a Z in your hand? But you waste 3 mana. Well, to each his own. I'm gonna play the Assessor here. So I'm gonna have a 5 power card to use the Reckoning if I need it. But maybe I shouldn't. Okay, I'm not gonna need the Assessor to draw cards. I have a really big hand. I have Sejuani already. I have Herb Guard. I have this. I really don't need to draw anything right now. But I can just play the Assessor to have a 5 powered card. I'm in a pretty good spot. His play here was a really big mistake. Tales of our past are seeds for our future. I'll show you how it's done. Think before you strike. Done. Alright. 
Hmm. Most likely I'm gonna play the health guard. Okay, he's buffing Zed. That's fine. I want him to play Z next turn. I'm gonna freeze Z with uh, the Archer. I'm gonna block with a bird here. You will see next turn why. I'm gonna bait him to play Z. Then I'm gonna freeze Z and I'm gonna recon and kill everyone. If he passes here, he's marked, but. The way he played until now, he's not smart, so I afford to do this play. Now he loses the entire board and the buffed Z in his doomed. Oh my god, if he plays another unit, I'm just gonna. Oh my god. I'm gonna surrender for him. Come on, dude. Play another unit. Do it. Totally not obvious what I'm going for. Yeah, there you go. A 3-6. Oh my dear god. Oh my god, this is painful to watch. What the hell, bro? He got so baited into that play. I mean, your opponent uh, is passing his turn when he has 2 extra mana. If you just pass, he loses mana, he loses his attack turn. So it's pretty obvious if he does that, that he wants you to play something first. Should I play Sijuani or just let him uh, attack me and just Elixir of Iron Jinx? I guess I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna play the uh, jet first. He's gonna attack with Jinx, he doesn't seem to be that smart, so I'm gonna block with Herd Guard, Elixir of Iron. He might have something uh, to buff Jinx with and kill my Herd Guard, but I'm gonna take that risk. Even if uh, Jinx kills the Herd Guard this turn, we still have uh, two creatures and place to join next turn. Yeah, you don't want to do that attack, bro. Oh, he's uh, buffing for no reason before I even block. Yeah, using your uh, your burst like that is a really big mistake. You want to keep your burst to after your opponent does a play. Like if I had blocked here with the herd guard and elixir of iron and the herd guard, after that he should have uh, used this and counter my play. Uh, I guess now I just block with Jerk, sacrifice him. Play the sentry, move on. Maybe I shouldn't have played the sentry and just kept the mana. Okay, I'm gonna play this Sejuani. It's fine, we still have the mana to call strike if we want. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have played the Sentry. Now I don't have mana to Fury of the North. Discard your hand, do 3 damage. I'm not sure about this, but I think if I kill this guy, uh, this uh, skill cancels. But I'm not sure about it. I'm really not sure about it. Let's see. If this kill doesn't cancel, I should just uh, have killed Jinx here. Because she's gonna level up. Well, I'm gonna win anyway. But I wanted to see if the skill cancels. And apparently it didn't. So we, we still win, right? Yeah. 
with two wins in the bag, five more to go. Axel Kaiser playing Freljord Yonia. No champions. Uh, should I keep Reckoning? I think Reckoning uh, is gonna be really good again. But I'm not gonna keep it. I think it's pretty bad to keep Reckoning in your starting hand. You got two birds. That's nice. And I, I got a trapper. I want to see the trapper in my starting hand every time. I, th I think the trapper is one of the cards you want to see in your hand. At the start, but you don't want to see in your hand at the end. I'm gonna play another hawk. Buff the next creature. For plus two. Uh, I think we're just gonna... We're just gonna ignore this for now. Okay, I hope he trades. I hope he trades. But I don't think he's gonna trade. He wants to rush me with elusives. Okay, what was that play, dude? I guess he just wanted to play his Navori Conspirator for some reason. But that's stupid. Okay, we can't really call this, can we? Okay. He's gonna play deity. I'm afraid to do this call here because if he has that uh, burst spell that gives plus three attack, it's really gonna hurt me. But I think I have to do it. Yeah, he has it. Of course he has it. Rip. Okay, I might actually just lose this game. I took too much damage. And my deck is kind of bad versus elusives. Even if I play the Glory Seeker here. No, I don't know. I think it's just better to play this guy. Even if I kill his uh, ringlet duo, I think we lose next next turn. If I don't get a freeze, I need. I really need a freeze. One, give me a freeze deck. Okay, freeze. But I don't think it's enough. They cannot strike what they cannot see. Or is it? The war mother will unite us all. I mean, if he doesn't play anything else, we survive with one. The dream? Does he have something else? Oh my god, the dream. One HP. Okay, we might actually win now, maybe. Not really. Yeah, we still don't win. Will no one listen? Poor man's gone mad. Even three. Yeah, we still don't win. 
We're gonna lose next turn. I'm gonna play the 6-2, it's pointless. I'm, I want to trade with the uh, Life Blade. Pointless to play the other one. Okay, rip. Yeah, this one is lost. I'm just desperate here. I sense fear. Well, what can I do? My deck is really bad versus elusives. Oh no, we lost one. But we need to lose two in a row. And I believe that's not gonna happen. Misfortune Queen. That's actually kind of terrifying. Okay, should I keep both calls? I mean, we can kill a Misfortune and Queen with the calls. I don't know. I'm, I'm only gonna keep one. Okay, good thing we got the Hawk. I never miss. Okay, let's see. Oh, okay, that's a nice card. He's not even gonna attack. I guess he doesn't want to lose this guy. Sure. I'm playing for a late game anyway, and you should play for early game. And my early game is already stronger. Yeah, apparently we can't attack. Okay, should I play Ash here? Probably not. I'll call Misfortune. And play the Yeti and uh, the Glory Seeker. Okay, we can deal with this card with the Glory Seeker. Pretty easy. And the Glory Seeker doesn't even die since she's buffed. And I think we just won. I don't think he can come back from this with that deck. If, he, if this deck doesn't uh, get a really good early. He's pretty doomed. He's gonna shield. Oh, he's gonna make it rain. Can't expect that one. That doesn't really accomplish that much. I mean, my guy is still alive. Did he make it rain just to kill my bird and uh, plunder this guy? That's a pretty bad make rain, but I, I guess he had to do it. Gonna play Ash as well. Alright, let's miss some food. Gonna take with everyone. I'm probably gonna brightle steal uh, the ranger when she, he blocks Ash. Ah, Are you not gonna block? Are you gonna take nine damage? Who's that you got there? Yeah, I don't think he can win this. Pretty impossible. He has no board. He has only three cards in his hand and he plays Misfortune Queen. This game is over. Nice, we got a really nice card as well. We can draw three cards with this. Look at this. The Assessor. OP. Okay, we're gonna trade the Assessor here. I can't trade the, the Trapper because of MF. Okay. His Beige Beer survives, but we, he wasted another card to do it. 
So it is not that great as it seems for him, I mean. Okay, he got lucky and killed the glory seeker. It doesn't matter. Again, he wasted another card to do that. We protect these woods as they protect us. I'm gonna call this guy because he can block twice instead of MF. I'm gonna take with Ash, even if Ash is gonna die here, most likely. He's gonna be blocked by Badge Beer. I can I think we can afford to do that. I don't care if we lose Ash here. He's gonna take he's almost dead. He didn't want to block with MF. I don't know why he's not surrendering, there's no way he's gonna win this. He has a card in hand to protect MF here, but yeah. Uh, yes, we're we're gonna get a DT with the jerk and plate as well. Okay, we didn't. Uh, I think that's the block we want. I guess it doesn't matter. Oops, I wanted to attack. And the third win in the gauntlet. We're back on track. This is any edge deck that I showcased in my previous video. Not only gets wins in ranked, but apparently also gets wins in the gauntlet. But this is going to be the end for this video. Thanks a lot for watching. Check out the next episode if you want to see the rest of the gauntlet run. I'm going to release the second episode probably 2 hours after this one. If I don't do that, I'm gonna release it tomorrow for sure. If you want to support me and make more videos, help me out with a like, a comment, subscribe, hit the notification button. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.